the Gatling. Invented in 1861 by American Richard Gatling, it has rotating barrels just like the minigun. Hand cranked, it is one of the earliest suppressive fire weapons designed to keep the enemy pinned down. And this particular gun has an amazing history. So this was in the Spanish-American War. You know, as a matter of fact, this is one of the guns that Roosevelt had. This was one of the four guns. Credited it with the turn of the tide of San Juan Hill. Oh my God. Back in 1898, the US was at war with Spain. American forces invaded Cuba to put an end to Spanish colonial rule. It all came to a head on July 1st at the Battle of San Juan Hill. The Spanish hold the high ground. Facing them below are future President Theodore Roosevelt and the Rough Riders of the U.S. 1st Cavalry Division. Alongside them, the legendary Buffalo Soldiers of the 10th Cavalry. The Americans know that charging the hill will lead to a slaughter. So, to level the playing field, they wheel out their big guns. Gatlings. They unleash a withering hail of bullets on the Spanish, who have never experienced anything like it. The Gatlings keep the Spanish pinned down behind their parapets and pave the way for American forces to charge up the hill and take it. Basically, these laid down suppressive fire. That same one hill they did, yes. Does this thing shoot? Oh, yeah. I think it would be neat to demonstrate what suppressive fire it truly is. Let's go fire a Gatling gun. OK. So how much does this weigh? About 700 pounds. 700 pounds. Not exactly easy to move around. The Battle of San Juan, they were using a Gatling gun from 600 yards. Today, we're going to use them from about 80 yards. And this is not a parapet like they had there. It's a wooden wall. But it'll demonstrate what suppressive fire really means. The target is set. Time to test the firepower of the actual weapon that helped win the day for the US over 120 years ago. Gun is hot. It's really cool. And you know, it runs for 150 years old. It, it runs, runs the same way it did 150 years ago. Which is, from an engineering standpoint, amazing. Moving the traverse, moving the actual action of the Gatling gun. Now I see how suppressive fire works. Who the hell is going to stick their head over the parapet when you got that much lead coming at you? The Gatling gun paves the way for everything that came after, including the minigun I'm trying to rebuild. 